So, we have decided uh, with everything we have going on in this farm that we just can't do this anymore. enjoyed having our quail and the novelty of having those tiny eggs but we've just come to the realization that we are feeding way too many animals without getting a lot of output or output yeah our inputs are not right. matching our outputs right. right now we have not been able to find a, a market for these quail eggs and with everything else that we've got going on we have decided to sell these quail we've got how many 13? 13 quail. 13 quail. And Sell is a general term. If if the right person would uh, was interested in this, so if you're if you're a viewer and you're local and you would you have an interest in getting into quail, um, you know we could definitely help you get started with that and um, you know get you kind of set up. They're laying eggs. They're about what a year old. Yeah, they're you coming think? up on a year right now. Yeah. We probably get about half a dozen eggs a day on average. Um, Sometimes two eggs a day. A couple of them lay two yeah. eggs in a day. They're friendly, and they're just beautiful birds, but unfortunately, they're not staying here any longer. So if you guys are interested in owning quail... And you're and, local. Yeah, and you're local. We're not going to ship we're them. No shipping. <laughs> so just let us know. Uh, send us an email and let us know... We can work out details. If you want some quail. Anything like that. Yeah. So we've got our turkeys out here enjoying the grass. Our second order of business today is to get these guys moved up on the hill, which you can't see because this car's in the way. But to get them moved up on the hill where the meat birds are, get some of the meat birds switched over into our second Salatin style tractor and and check on the meat birds because we are getting ready to process those this weekend. They look so good. Hey. So this is the big weekend for these Cornish Cross meat chicks, meat birds. Now I guess we should stop calling them meat chicks sometime at least before this weekend. Um, they're looking really good. I am really impressed with this breed of bird. I wasn't so sure about it when we had talked about it before. So last year I really liked the Husky Reds. I just thought it was a beautiful bird and they looked really healthy and but they were really small. They ended up really small for sorry. They ended up really small for us. Uh, which is probably our fault. It wasn't probably the bird, but um, I wasn't too interested in raising these Cornish cross. I just had seen a lot of um, kind of bad reviews about them, but I've gotta say I'm really impressed with these guys right here. They look good, they're fat and happy, and I can't wait to process them this weekend. Uh, I didn't think you were gonna go right where I was standing. Well, I would have thought you would have wised up a little bit and moved. Oh, he got me all grassy. Yeah. So one, one of the things that I really enjoy looking at that I think is cool to see is where chickens have been versus where they haven't been this year now obviously you know this is a little burnt up it's got a little hotter but in the spring we had chickens running all through here you know they, they were on this spot twice uh, so they were about to where we're standing down um, it's it's almost a whole new set of grass it's not all fescue there's different grasses coming up one thing i'll show you guys here is we started the meat birds here right about here and we worked them up now granted you know i mowed a trail but you can see that the grass that they've hit already going up is just a darker green it's 
a little it's 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 it comes back a little thicker you think you see a couple spots where maybe they set a little bit too long and it got a little burnt but it's still very well th fer fertilized and it's coming up so we're just working on the pasture in this area this year with meat birds with so we're gonna have turkey on these we'll have meat chickens on these and like our our yard this year was the first thing to green up and we ran chickens in our yard all last year and even the spots where their coop had burned it up has now come back it's come back with clover and we didn't seed it really we i threw down some rye in one spot other than that it's all just whatever seed bank was in the ground has come back and uh you know that's what we're trying to do to this pasture this year um just trying to build soil you know and so i'll i come through and knock down the high stuff because it's really hard to put chickens and drag our tractors through the high stuff but i knock it down knock basically knocking the seeds off um i don't i don't you know you can see that i just put a thatch down i'm gonna let the chickens work that over and uh, we're getting ready to start round two of our of meat chicks again we're gonna do a much smaller batch but we're gonna just stack them up probably all through the summer and into the fall. That's kind of our plan right now, and it's worked out really well. I'm impressed to see we've had enough moisture into June to where nothing's getting burned up. And that's, it's almost July, and that's a good feeling. Let it go. I mean, I didn't mean let it go. Like... Go past. Here, let's go sideways. Hang on. All right, you need to set it down. That's heavy. I can probably drag it from now. It's not that heavy. It's just awkward. Yeah. It's not that heavy. It's just awkward. Where wheels would be nice. <laughs> wheels would be nice. Who needs fancy things like wheels? All right, so our little, littler meat birds are gonna go over in that pen right there. We're gonna get the turkeys moved into the stress-free. Everyone's happy, enjoying the sun and green grass. Ah, that's funny. They love stretching out. Lots more room now. That's one of the things we've kind of kept them a little confined since we had the great cat attack. And, uh, Catastrophe. Yeah. So we've kind of had them on lockdown, very protected, very armored, to where the cats could not get to them. So this is their first time really getting some freedom. So they'll quickly outgrow that though, and uh, we'll have to put them behind electric netting. So, whoop, I stepped behind you there. And then, of course, once we process these birds, we'll move their water over here and they'll have a bigger water. Our other batch of turkeys, and then our second batch of meat birds will be coming soon. Watch for that. We have a live coming up uh, when is that? Sat the first Saturday of the month, which is July 6th. 6th. That'll be our third life, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and hope you guys can join us for that. Yeah. So. 
Thanks for coming along with us today. We're going to go get some ice water. We'll see you next time. I still got all this grass on me.